Why I gained weight was. Oh my god.
so the guide goes to Romania or Bulgaria and then he um, makes the girl fall in love with him and he's like I'll take you to Germany where like you'll become rich and stuff you know I'll give you a good life in Germany and then the girl goes with him obviously right and then when they get there basically makes them prostitutes this is a true story or mm -hmm. is something on Netflix? No, it's true story. Documentary. <laughs> Why are my enemies doing that? So the video for today is an example of what a day of eating looks like when I first started my weight loss journey back in January for the first couple of weeks. My calorie intake was still pretty high at that point because I wouldn't even really call it a weight loss journey at that point. It was really a recovery period for me because I just really wanted to get my period back. I really wanted my body to completely heal from the over-exercising mainly. I think it was really important for my body to fully recover before I start cutting my calories little by little until I get to my maintenance calorie target for my set point weight range. So my intention was to really slowly ease back into my moderate balance healthy-ish lifestyle. The worst thing you can do after coming out of a binge eating phase or if you're just starting out your weight loss journey is to start with a super restrictive diet and cut your calories way too low, especially, especially if you're also planning on working out really hard. Working out really hard plus a really restrictive low calorie diet is a recipe for disaster. What's going to happen is you're probably going to restrict successfully for a while and maybe even get some temporary results. But what's also happening is you're going to push your body into starvation mode and possibly damage your metabolism especially i repeat if you're also planning on working out really really hard and the next part of the scenario is you're probably going to start feeling really hungry right start to obsess about some junk food you've been restricting and then boom binge eating episode happens again and you fall into that yo-yo dieting over exercising binge eating cycle over and over again when you start your weight loss journey ease into it Flirt with it, test the waters, don't sleep with it on the first night. That's how you're gonna get into a really bad situation and crash and burn. And I get it, when you're starting your weight loss journey, you're probably really frustrated with yourself. You're probably in that mind state where you're hating yourself, hating your body, and all you care about is getting those results fast. My advice is just to not get too attached to the end results and get too attached to your expectations on how you think your weight loss journey is supposed to be. It's great to have a goal, but it's way more important to focus on the present and the small tasks that you can complete day to day to get to where you want to be. It's not helpful at all to be angry or frustrated with your body. You and your body are partners for life. 
literally for life. Your body is the only place where your soul is going to reside for the duration of your lifetime. So you got to work with your body respectfully to achieve optimal health. And I know this is going to be really hard to believe, especially in your moment of frustration, but if you actually start doing things because you love and accept your body, the results actually end up way better and come just naturally. What I mean by this is if you really love your body, do you think you're going to stuff junk food down your body's throat, especially if you know it's actually bad for you and likewise if you love your body do you think you're gonna starve your body just so it can look a certain way it's like if you have a child that you love and you accept this child for who they are and you want the best for this child are you gonna stuff a ton of junk food down that child's throat or likewise are you gonna starve that child just to make them look a certain way if you love your body or your child obviously you're going to try to feed them the best of the best and you're going to try to take care of them in a gentle way you're not going to force your child to do extreme amounts of exercise and then force feed them an excessive amount of junk food and then scream at them how much they freaking suck that would be called child abuse so the same goes with your body if you force your body to do extreme amounts of exercise or if you stuff your body with a bunch of junk food excessive amounts of of junk food or if you starve your body and then tell it how much you hate it that's body abuse so where you should start is self-acceptance no matter where you are in your journey right now today at this moment in time being okay with what has already happened in the past learn from it as much as you can but also just being okay with the current situation as is. Knowing deep in your heart that you will become the best version of yourself if you do what's right, meaning not abuse your body, but simply trying your best to develop healthy habits because your body deserves it. You don't have to do anything extreme. You don't have to cheat the system. You don't have to trick your body. Just do what's best for your body from a health perspective and everything will fall into place. Hey guys, so I just wanted to thank every one of you that watched my last video. I wasn't really sure if any of you guys would have been interested in what was going on in my life but it turned out a lot of you guys were and i just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you who actually paid attention to my main message in that video and to all of you who left those amazing super nice encouraging comments for me in the previous video i seriously read every single one of those comments and i'm just so pleasantly surprised that so many of you can actually relate to what I was going through. I really wasn't sure if anyone could relate to what I was going through, but it actually turned out that a lot of you guys were, and I'm just so grateful for all of you guys who kind of let me know because it does mean a lot to me that you guys watched that video, paid attention to it, and told, kind of share with me what was going on with you as well. So. I just wanted to let you guys know that and I'm so seriously grateful for all of you guys. I, I seriously love you guys so much and I just wanted you guys to know that too. So for the next video, I want to kind of show you guys what my daily routine is to kind of get me back to my set point weight range. It's not just about weight loss, it really is about me regaining my health my balance, equilibrium, whatever you want to call it. So that's coming out next. And I also have a free workout program that I'm planning to release very, very soon. So be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. And by the way, I am having tempeh again. I just really love tempeh. Um, I had chipotle last night, so I have some extra fajita vegetables left with like small pieces of the sofritas. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this.